Welcome. Today, Jammy Bastard mwah, is going to show you how to make some damson jam, hopefully. Now, to cut a few uh, steps out, I got some damsons from up the road, a farm up the road, I saw them 50 pence a pound. Well, I saw them, I remember damson jam when I was younger. I think it was one of the cheapest jams you could buy. It buy. But um, it's a long time since I had some. Anyway, nipped in. 50 pence a pound, so I thought I'd have five pound of them. Um, got them home, shoved them in my pressure cooker, my Charlie pressure cooker them. Just using it as a base. Um, lots of recipes mention water or orange juice. I wasn't quite sure, so I put a bit of uh, Morrison Savers orange juice in, but I didn't measure it out, just enough to get it all sweating down. Um, and apparently, you just leave it like this for a while until it gets mushy. Because, did you see that? Because what we need to do is get the stones out. Now, some recipes say you've got to count how many damsons you put into your saucepan and then count the stones out. Now, I know I'm sad. I'm sad to do this, but I'm not that sad. So, if you end up getting one of my jars of jam, there's a stone in it, I do apologise. But it doesn't take much to test it, does it? You're not going to put any dams and jam with a stone in in the middle of a scone. Or a scone, I the word I live. So anyway, this is bubbling away. Uh, I'm going to give it 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes before I put the sugar in. I can switch off now, I've got this very fancy remote control. Uh, just in case you don't know what it looks like bubbling. Hi, back again. Yes, I've had the uh, odd accident. Um, I scalded in this scalp and it bubbled over. So I'm now wearing um, a hard hat. And um, if, if, if I need to call an ambulance, I might put Hyber's jacket on too. So um, it's bubbling away. Bubbling about, about 20 minutes. I've oh, still not put the sugar in yet. Okay, uh, take whatever it is. Um, the damsons have been bubbling away now for about 20, 25, 30 minutes. Um, I had a bit of an accident. Uh, it bubbled over while I was doing something else. In fact, I was checking out my new e-cigarette. I need to get the proper cigarettes. And um, it took me about five or six minutes to work out the instructions. In the meantime, I came in and it exploded in the face. So, there's a lesson to you, never leave it alone. So it's bubbling away, I'm about to put the sugar in. So, welcome back. Um, unfortunately, um, since the last uh, little bit of filming, I'd have been an accident. <laughs> I, came, I came to look at my damsons and unfortunately one of the uh, stones flirted out and hit me a little square on the head basically. Um, I went down like uh, rubber tooth but unlike uh, Wayne Rooney I got up fairly quickly. Uh, patched myself up and I reckon I can still make this jam even though severely injured. Okay, let's go. This um, damson jam making uh, a lot of it, it takes a long time. I've just nipped down to the dentist because I broke a tooth a few weeks ago and um, she's great. Got my new setting. Nice, I've uh, got a problem with the stones still. Um, don't know what to do about them. They're supposed to float to the top. The trouble is they float to the top with everything else. So I'm going to have to work out a wicked method of getting them out. Watch this face. Okay, 
first thing I'm going to do is try to strain it to a colander. Now, this got all the juice out. Well, a lot of really nice pulp stays there. I'll we'll have to work out another method unless I'm making jelly. Well, that might not be a bad idea. It'll probably love it. So, a lot of hard work ahead, I reckon. And when I've finished this, this can go in the compost heap. Okay, next stage, uh, as you can see, the sugar equal amount. I've actually gassed this because uh, I couldn't be dealing with all those stones so I've put it through the colander. I've lost obviously a little bit of flesh but well, you never know. That'd be a nice smooth jam. It smells alright. Can't believe how rich the colour is. I thought black currant was colourful, but this is weird. Now I've got to keep an eye on this now for hmm, at least 20 minutes. So I'm going to switch it off. Okay, uh, important bit. Doesn't matter what you're making, uh, whether you're making pickles, whether you're making jams, chutneys. If you want it to last, you've got to make sure your jars are clean. What I do, uh, I haven't got a dishwasher, I um, clean the jars in warm soapy water, rinse them out well, then put them in a baking tray and put them in the oven for about 20 minutes on a hot heat. That should sterilise them. In the meantime, I've got the caps boiling away in a saucepan. Well folks, <coughs> I've got on a, a bit of a simmering boil here. Um, I've done a, a setting test with a little bit in the fridge on a saucer. I think you'll learn to do that. And it should set perfectly. It tastes absolutely delicious. So I'm going to switch off now and pop it into jars. I'm not really worried about this scum. Hi. Uh, welcome back. I'm just about to bottle my jam or jar my jam. Um, since the last time, uh, well, the last take, which was a few hours ago, uh, had a, uh, Wayne Rooney got in touch with me because he was not very happy with what I said about uh, Robert Hooth and what have you. So he, but he's a good lad. I mean, he, he he's a brilliant footballer. And he said that if I gave him a good mention on this video, that he would do something for me. So, I'll tell you now, Wayne Rooney is brilliant because he put me in touch with the um, head guy. Yep, I'm not talking about psychology, anything like that. Yeah, I'm talking about scalps. Oh, crikey, I could not believe it. I was only in there half an hour. And look what he's done for me. Yeah. The thing he can't do is what he couldn't do for Wayne, which was this. So, luckily I don't play football. I used to, but I don't play anymore, so I won't have to, have to wear one of them daft bands around my head like Wayne does. But I've got to thank him. What a great head of hair I've got now. And I've still got the best thing in life to look forward to. Bottling my dams and jam! Right, okay, we've uh, finished our jam making session. I've got a few jars of this, not as much as I wanted. Um, it does taste delicious. Um, I've got a bit of a sticky mess on the floor. I uh, promise you it was only to do with jam making, but there we go. Um, a lot of cleaning up to do. Only made was it one, two, three, eight jars, eight and a half jars. I was hoping for 15, but that's the way it goes. But well worth the effort.
if not the mess. Thank you. I might do another one.